Hi, and thank you for joining us here today. My pleasure. So the first question for you is, where are you from? I am from the, I'm from Elmville, which is a small town just north of Barrie. When I grew up there, there was one stoplight and no McDonald's, and everybody knew who you were. It was a great place to grow up. What is one thing that you have crossed off your bucket list? You know what, that, I've just crossed one off in the last two weeks. I have always wanted to live beside a lake where I can get up in the morning and sit on the dock and go for a paddle. And I've just signed on to do that here in Aurelia. I'm thrilled. Great. If you could trade lives with someone for a day, who would it be? That one was a tricky one for me. I thought about it for a long time and really, I don't need to be anybody else right now. I'm okay being me. It's taken me about 50 years to get used to that, but I'm pretty happy being who I am. If you could have three wishes, what would you wish for? For me, my wishes would be around the children, the students that I, that I work for. I would wish that, uh, that we can see what they need and do what we can to provide them with the support and ears and arms to care for them. And uh, that they would feel brave, that they'd be brave in what they, what they wish for and um, that they take risks. And I also wish that for my students here at Lakehead, that they will be brave enough to try things that are maybe a little uncomfortable and, um, and then have that wonderful sense of achievement when they have mastered something new. What was your very first job? Hmm. Uh, in a small town, you always had jobs, even from a young age. But my first official job was um, in a family business. We ran a marina up in Muskoka, and I scooped ice cream and pumped gas. And I had so I had my own paper route that was um, boat delivery of newspapers. They had the four horsepower, and I felt very important. <laughs> so you liked having that job? Uh, yes, it was it was good fun and good training. Got to know how to um, work with all kinds of people at that stage. And our last question is, what is your favorite piece of art? Um, I brought my favorite piece of art. It's by regional artist Joan LeBeouf. Um, raised in a small town, my dad was a lumberman, and I had... Um, I stacked a lot of wood as a kid, and I all uh, on Saturdays we would help him stack wood for, for people, and I just wanted a chair. So Joan LeBeouf had done a painting of, um, of just that very setting, and it, it spoke to me when I saw it. Did you buy that painting yourself, or was it, it a gift? It is the very first thing that I bought with my own money, but when I was asked that question about favorite art, Really, my favorite art changes all of the time when I discover a new artist or when a student comes up and shows me something that they're proud of. That's my new favorite. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you five rapid fire this or that questions. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, books or movies? Ooh, books. Introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. Camping or hotel? Camping. Classic or modern? Modern. Asking questions or answering questions? Asking. Okay, great. That's all we have for you today. So thank you again for joining us. My pleasure.